Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. I'm dealer for SQL accounting software. So if you want to make chase, training, support, or you can come to my center to attend a one-day certificate course. Please go to facebook.com slash syntaxx to like my page so you can have all the latest tutorial video and also news regarding my company and also SQL accounting system. You may also post your question or queries here and I'll answer accordingly. Please send more questions so I have ideas on what should I talk about. Sometime I may run out of idea on the tutorial topic. Thank you. You may also go to youtube.com syntax technologies to browse all the previous tutorials. In today's lesson, I'll talk about others' creditor. For example, you purchase stationery from supplier, but this should be an expense. So normally, what we do is we'll directly go to cash book to do a payment voucher entry, where we directly select the expenses account. What if you do have terms with your supplier? So you would say you would want it to be under supplier invoice so you can make payment later. In that case, you need to maintain a separate supplier account. So you go to GL, maintain chart of account. Under current liabilities, you can see you have your trade creditors. Now what we do is, you can see other creditors, you edit, and we change it to a supplier control account. Okay, the next step will be, you can maintain all your other creditors. For example, your stationary suppliers, your photoset machine supplier, and so on. So you go to maintain supplier new, for example, ABC station shop. So, but you need to take care of over here is the control account. So, you select them as other creditors, and all the information you key in accordingly, and change the items. Save it. So, instead of going to GL cash entry, you go to supplier invoice. New. So we select the supplier, ABC stationery shop. Then here, normally we select the purchase account, but this time we select the expenses account for example stationery. Okay. So this is a expenses setup. Save. Then you can make payment later. You make payment to the supplier ABC stationery. And you can see there's an outstanding of 200 ringgit. And you just make payment accordingly. By maintaining them as supplier, you can now can have your for example due document for ABC stationery. And you can check all the outstanding document. So this is how you maintain other editor if you want to do so. Any queries, you can contact me directly. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.